What's up everyone? Welcome back to another Five Nights at Freddy's blindfolded video. That's right, we're surviving Five Nights at Freddy's 2 blindfolded. Right now you're probably thinking a crazy person would attempt this challenge. And you're right. In case you're wondering how this is possible at all, I am using a PS5 controller playing off the PlayStation 5. So this is console edition. And if you are still skeptical, the full VOD is down below linked and it is on my channel. Let's go over the rules. I have to beat Five Nights at Freddy's 2. This includes night one through five without sight. <laughs> <laughs> night one our only threats for this night are only toy freddy toy chica and toy bonnie from 12 to 2 a.m no animatronic will or can move in addition the music box does not wind down leaving us with literally nothing to worry about but i'm blind it cannot see i know you're already in the comments like how do you see the camera with the music box well very simple at the start of the night the camera is always on the stage simply pressing down one time will put me on the music box camera but since I have no idea what time it is, I'm just practicing my rotations in the office. This pattern of actions is crucial for my success. I start by spamming the flashlight down the hallway. I then hit the left vent light. I just do this so you guys can see if there's an animatronic because all these challenges are done live. So join the live streams. We play live Monday through Thursday, 9 p.m. EST and scheduled lives are on the channel. Then I stroll over to the right vent, blasting the flashlight back down the hallway and then i check the right vent light before opening my monitor immediately winding the music box six notches good thing it makes a sound when it's being winded up because if i go over six notches foxy bonnie or chica will definitely get me after that i close my monitor and put on the freddy mask immediately this will protect me against bonnie chica freddy golden freddy and toy freddy i then repeat this all night ensuring i'm covered by the way this is the same strategy used for 1020 custom night now let's get into how i'm feeling this night i'm starting to feel no worries just vibing i figured nothing much would happen and this night would be super easy but i was surprisingly mistaken Toy Chica had other ideas entering the vent and giving me my first of many jump scares i had to take my headphones off because the noises were scaring me more than anything i can't i can't keep <laughs> Who got me? After wiping off the embarrassment from losing at night one, I headed in strong and ready for all the challenges. We're gonna try, we're gonna try, okay, we're gonna try. Going back into night one, I kept in mind that at least once or maybe twice, Toy Chica or Bonnie would swing by the office, so I kept my ears open and forged ahead, beating night one. Mask up, flash, mask up. Yes! night one baby night one baby going into night two three more animatronics turn on including foxy mangle and the doom slayer himself the problem child the machine that single-handedly destroys this run balloon boy all jokes aside, this guy single-handedly takes me out multiple times. This challenge so far is heart-pounding and very tense, but I'm going through this night pretty chill. But then confusion sets in and I lose track of the game plan. I'm all over the place pressing all buttons for some kind of audio cue while trying to rebound or grasp what is happening to me. Dude, I don't even know where I was. Was I even on the freaking right camera? Bro flies in like Superman. The next go at night two and I'm flying by. I got the game plan down. Everything is looking up, but remember how I said the problem child? Well, <laughs> no, dude. Pushing forward through my loss, I attempt again just for 6 a.m. <laughs> Again, Balloon Boy struck me again at 5 a.m. Before y'all fly to them comments, that game fell forever. I knew it had to be close to 6 a.m., but I'm blind. I have no idea. But I couldn't explain Balloon Boy any more than this clip. Your soul is mine. After that, I try again, and like before, everything was going smoothly until... <laughs> Oh, 
That was not a toy animatronic. That was definitely Foxy. All right. Oh, look, we got an Easter egg. Let's go. And this led to my first Easter egg mini game. After all those jump scares, finally pushing through fear and crazy animatronics, we got the dub. Woo! That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. I needed that. Let's go. Night two, guys. Let's go. Night two in the bag. Going into night three, I gotta say it again. I miss Phone Guy. Bring him back. But you guessed it. Three more animatronics join in. The OGs themselves. Freddy, Chica, and Bonnie. Let's take a minute to appreciate their designs in this game. But you already know what happened next. <laughs> no, dude. And they coming back with a mission. Nothing is stopping me this time. But that's okay. Next time we show them what's up and get the win this night without a problem. Yes, dude. Night three. Let's go. Let's be honest. Going into night four, my bowels were rocked by anxiousness. And I needed a bathroom break. Look at this beautiful design I put up on the stream. God, but night four, just think night three, but every animatronic is turned up. And just like before, absolute smooth riding. Mango popped me a visit, and here's the thing. Mango is super easy to tell if she's there because she makes this loud noise when she's in the vent. Mango's in my vents. After that, guess who came to pay me a visit? The destroyer himself, Balloon Boy, crawled in my vent. <laughs> now he was, dude. Ain't no way. He decided to stay so long, I panicked and took my mask off, thinking I was safe only for him to once again destroy my hopes and dreams. But I revived my hopes and dreams. I pulled through and showed that little man what's good and clutched another win. Worry about that stuff? Yes! Night four! Blindfolded, let's go. We are finally here, the final night. Night five brings out the best of all these animatronics. And look at me, I'm so not ready. But in all seriousness, this night goes how you'd expect it to go. But getting into this, I have to explain one thing that destroyed me the most. Bonnie and Chica can pull the monitor down at random times. And you have to react by quickly throwing on the Freddy mask. But hey now, that doesn't seem bad. But you're wrong. I still can't see. I have to purely react to audio. But there's a million different sounds going on all at once. He left. Oh, I'm way too late. I'm dead. <laughs> ah. After my first lovely demise of the night, I got a sweet mini game handing out cupcakes to the kids, but the purple guy had other plans. What the hell? Purple guy! Diving back into it, everything is going good, and then enough of this guy already. No! And remember what I just talked about? Well, it happened again. <laughs> oh, now it's a wrap. Okay, now after a little motivational speech, I'm feeling ready. I think this is the one. I can feel it in my bones, okay? But then... <laughs> <laughs> In my head, I'm starting to understand how difficult this challenge truly is. From all the mechanics and having to listen to every sound possible, keeping count of how many times I hear the same vent noise in each ear while constantly keeping a pattern of gameplay. To ensure survival is tough. At least I got another fun Easter egg minigame. This time, I'm the puppet giving life. YouTube, don't come at me. But unalive small people. You get it. But I'm putting OG animatronic heads on them. But this Easter egg minigame ends in a sweet Golden Freddy jump scare. <laughs> yep. Oh, no, it's Golden Freddy that time. Jeez, man. I was expecting Golden Freddy. And this leads into, you guessed it, another lovely game of... <laughs> Hell, dude. 
but through all the pain and anguish, I push ahead in an intense night of animatronics versus me. One simple office guard, I stand my ground. In a heart-pounding night filled with animatronic nightmares, I push all the way to 5 a.m., but I can't make this up. Our problem child once again tries to defeat us in an epic stare-off while Foxy starts running through the pizzeria. My heart is now beating through my chest. I know it's late in the night by awareness alone. It felt like forever, but you would not believe what happened. <laughs> no! Come on, 6 a.m., 6 a.m., please! 6 a.m., please! No way. No way. 6 a.m. 6 a.m. I'm spamming. 6 a.m. Come on, bro. Nah, it's too late. Rah. 6 a.m.? 6 a.m.? Foxy's giving me all the time in the world. 6 a.m.? Nah, dude. <gasps> no way! Let's go, dude. No way. No way. I knocked over everything. Oh, my God. No way. No way. We just really clutched that that close. But, dude, that is, like, made up in the movies or something. That's right, we clutched it out, finally defeating our arch nemesis Balloon Boy by getting the fat W in his face. What a perfect way to finish this Five Nights at Freddy's 2 blindfold challenge. Huge announcement, we just hit 3,000 subs on the channel. Whoa! And at 100 likes, we will attempt night 6 and 1020 custom night. But I don't want you guys to miss the challenges live. So be sure to ring that bell next to the subscribe button so you are notified when we go live. And before you go, if you want to see me attempt this same challenge on Five Nights at Freddy's 1, click right up there on that video. Thank you guys. And remember, have good dreams. Work hard towards your dreams. I believe in you guys like you guys believe in me. Click that video up there to watch more. And peace.